um, Dr. Bernie Power from Melbourne School of Theology. Um, thank you for your talk. I, I learned a lot of things. I, I was quite happy to take all the insults thrown at Australia. Um, that was that was okay because a lot of them are true and, and I, I accept those. Um, but I actually found it very hard to take the things that you said about Jesus. Um, I'm a Christian. Jesus is my Lord and Saviour. And I think it's important that you speak only the truth about him. You said uh, when he was on the cross and he said, my, um, he said, uh, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. He said that because he had no other option at that time. That's not exactly true. And um, you'll know that in the, in the Bible, when the, in the Garden of Gethsemane, when one of Jesus' uh, uh, companions cut the ear off, uh, a person coming to attack him, Jesus says, put your sword in its place, for all who draw the side sword will die by the sword. Do you not think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12,000, sorry, 12 legions of angels. That is 12,000 angels. Jesus had authority and he said, no one takes my life away from me. I lay it down on my own accord. So, I so have authority. Yes. Sorry for interrupting. What's your question? Because my question preaching is, now. yeah, okay. My question is, why, why are you saying that Jesus had no authority right. to do something on Thank the cross you. when he point. actually Thank did? you very much. Brother, I asked a question. When I mentioned about Jesus Christ on the cross, I said that Jesus had no option when he was on the cross. And he pointed out to me that Jesus was supported by 12,000 angels and he had the option. Brother Bruni, if you read the Bible, from the practical ground reality, soul, angels, and all this came at a later stage. It was not there at the time when he was being put on the cross. What you are discussing is after he was resurrected. And what I said is the ground reality when he was being put on the cross. All the Christian scholars, there is not one who has objected to this. All the Christian scholars, they agree that when he was put on the cross, Jesus said, forgive them for they know not. And at that time, from any practical ground reality and logic and common sense, Jesus was on the cross and he had no other option. Had he any other option, had he any other option, according to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 27, verse number 36, he would not have fallen down on the ground in prostration, praying to the God, O oh God, move away this cup from me. Meaning, move away this trouble some time from me. What you are arguing cannot be proven from the Bible, it's your own interpretation. I don't answer that question. We'll come back. No debate, no dialogue.